Community, I was the very first um, summer camp director. And so we were doing things with the summer camp and um, I realized that this is great stuff that we're doing during the summer camp, but the kids aren't going anywhere. They're just doing stuff here in Kansas City. And so I went to Pastor Ford and asked him if we could do the same thing for the church. And that's literally how it got started. Well, the very first year that we did it, um, it was called the Second Missionary Baptist Church Track Club. And so I wanted us to be a team, but they said that since it was called Second Missionary Baptist Church, we were a church and we couldn't be a team. And I said, I've been looking through all these papers and all these books, and I don't see anything that says that you cannot allow a church. Don't you know, we were a team from that point on. And I don't know how many people have received tax scholarships and were able to extend their, their education and better their lives just so that we could have um, something for these kids to do um, and a positive learning experience during the summer. I'll never forget we had a young man who, uh, phenomenal young man, phenomenal young man who did some different things. He had, he was at a, at a track meet and stole some uh, a t-shirt, a $10 t-shirt, because he said he wanted this t-shirt. And when the brother all of a sudden came to track record, we were like, wait, you're supposed to be going to state. What are you doing here? And the brother was like, well, I stole a shirt. He was like, well, what the heck are you doing stealing the shirt? Because he got kicked off the team. Now, he was one of our top kids who's supposed to be uh, meddling at state. He said, well, you know, I did this, and I guess I'm just going to be like all my other brothers. All the males in my family have all gone to jail. And so I guess I'm just going to go to jail. None of them have ever graduated from high school. And I said, oh, whoa, well, let's turn this right, right around. And so we waited to minister to this brother in a totally different way. Track wasn't important at this time. Now let's get his head right. The next year, the brother went to state, ended up meddling, was able to uh, get him a, a scholarship to the University of Memphis, um, ended up graduating from the University of Memphis, uh, ended up going to the Olympic trials, um, and now he's in, I think, Atlanta, um, officer down there doing different things. These are just some of the instances that we've had within the ministry and how it's been able to impact different folks. What I also realize is that it's more than just coaching, uh, coaching a sport. I'm also a counselor. I'm also a friend. Um, I'm also somebody that's there uh, for whatever situation that these kids might be coming into or leaving from as they're coming to practice. You never know what a kid might be going through throughout the day. Um, and, and I've had some situations come about. Those situations have, again, matured me and helped me to be the best dude that I can for them. I'll see y'all on Thursday, ready to go. Winsteppers on three. One, two, three.